Hello friends, welcome. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at how to find out the integral of e power 2x into sin x. If you remember in the last session, we started with eyelet. We understood how to use eyelet to pick the first function. Now, the scenario what we have here is exponential and trigonometry. So you can take trigonometry function as the first function or you can take exponential function also. Both of them should be fine because you will be getting the same answer only. So let us start with saying that trigonometric function is my first function. So sin x is first function and e power 2x is second function. If you remember the formula, let's write down the formula. Let us say this is equal to i and the also if you observe both these functions we can do integral and both these functions we can do differentiation. So anything can be taken. So let us write the first step. We will say i equal to first function will stay as it is. So can I say sin of x and that I have to multiply with second function integral so e power 2x dx minus then I'll have integral then the first function which is left out should be differentiated now so I will say d by dx of sin x that I have to multiply with integral of the second function that is e power 2x dx and this whole thing we have to find out the integral. So let us go to the next step. The next step will be e power 2x integral is e power 2x integral is e power 2x by 2. We know that. In, in derivative we will multiply whereas in integration we have to divide. So our next step will be e power 2x by 2 multiply with sin of x minus we have integral what is d by dx of sin x that is cos x and multiply that with what is integral of e power 2x that is e power 2x divided by 2 this whole thing I have to do integral let's go to the next step the next step will be e power 2x by 2 sin x nothing to do there we are already done with it so let's go to the next part i can i take 1 by 2 out yes then i'll have integral of e power 2x cos x now if you observe we started with integral of e power 2x sin x and we end up with integral of e power 2x cos x. Now shall we do one more integration by part? Then we should have again part of whatever we want. It suppose this is i, we may get i by 2 or i by 4. Then we should take it to left hand side and we can simplify that. Let me explain you what I am trying to do after couple of steps. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step will be e power 2x by 2 multiply that with sin of x minus half. Now for this I have to find out the integral. So I will put a big bracket there. Then first function again is trigonometric function. Second function is exponential. So I will have cos x multiplied with e power 2x dx minus exponential integral of then the first function whatever I have left that I have to deri deri I have to do derivative of that so that will be d by dx of cos x that I have to multiply with integral of e power 2x dx and this whole thing I should have another dx on top of it so let me just do one small thing on top of this I need a dx then we will close that so this is nothing but equal to e power 2x by 2 sin x let's open this integral of e power 2x we know is equal to e power 2x by 2 
so can I take 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 I will have 1 by 4 e power 2x cos 2x then minus 1 by 2 into minus is plus 1 by 2 then integral of d by dx of cos x is minus sin x then integral of e power 2x is e power 2x by 2 dx so let's go to the next step next step will be e power 2x by 2 sin x minus 1 by 4 e power 2x cos x minus because plus into minus is minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 integral of e power 2x multiply with sin x but we know integral of e power 2x sin x is equal to i so let's write it down now i equal to this is what I we have on the left hand side i is equal to e power 2x I can take common and I can write it as sin 2x by 2 minus sin x by 2 minus cos x by 4 minus i by 4 because this whole thing is i that is i so when we get i by 4 to the left hand side i will have i plus i by 4 equal to can i take lcm and get 4 out i will have e power 2x by 4 multiply with 2 sin x minus cos x now next step what we will do will simplify this i plus i by 4 is 5 i by 4 so we can say i equal to 5 by 4 will become 4 by 5 into e power 2x by 4 and multiply that with 2 sin x minus cos x plus c now 4 4 will cancel so your answer is e power 2x by 5 into 2 sin x minus cos x plus c now if you understand we started with e power 2x sin x and both these functions none of this derivative is going to constant e power 2x will go on e power 2x multiplying with 2 when you do derivative or integral dividing by 2 sin x will be sin x derivative will be cos x cos x will be minus sin x again minus sin x will be minus cos x so it's basically we are going into the same loop so we end up with part of i what we need to find out again after second integration by parts now we take it to left hand side and we simplify that and we can find out the answer now let us see what is the general formula for e power ax into sin of bx plus c if you want to find out the integral so that you can just generalize for any problem given the general formula is integral of e power ax multiply with sin of bx plus c is equal to e power ax divided by a square plus b square and multiply that with a sin of bx plus c minus b cos of bx plus c that is the formula we have so let's cross check with this example what we have we have a equal to we have a equal to 2 b equal to 1 a equal to 2 b equal to 1 and c equal to 0 if we substitute we have e power 2x by 2 square plus 1 square is 5 multiply with 2 sin x minus b is 1 cos of bx plus c is cos x so 
Similarly, can you try it for integral of e power ax cos bx plus c and see how you can do that in the same lines. So, in the next session, we will continue with this. We will do lot of sessions in this because we are just learning integration by parts. We will try to do different problems from different textbooks so that we get more practice. Then we will try to move towards intermediate problems and tough problems. So, which we will be doing in maybe after a couple of sessions. So, I will catch you once again in the next session. Integration by parts. We will be doing more example. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.